Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my favourite mixed set overviews for Monster Hunter Generations. This time around we are looking at an aerial pellet mixed armour focused on sieging pellet level 2 in the air and dishing out frequent critical hits. Owing to the cumulative 60% affinity we have on this Shigaru heavy bowgun. Now let's first dive in and look at the fashion of the set. So this is what it looks like, we've got these nifty little Hayabusa feather earrings there which match really nicely with the rest of the outfits. It's um, pretty good, the uh, Rathalos arms kind of stand out a little bit of an eyesore but the rest of it uh, kind of looks pretty snaz. So that's the not so important or maybe very important to some of you fashion side of things. The weapon itself is the La Foi Shagaru HBG and let's have a look at all the equipment right now. So the La Foi, um, this particular weapon as I said is made from Shagaru Magala. It'll split off in an upgrade from the Gore Magala HPG. Now I've gone ahead and gone for the power barrel attachment on this one giving the weapon 231 attack. The already decent affinity is boosted by crit i3 giving us 60% affinity which is pretty awesome and you can choose to use the frenzy fever hunter art with this to boost that affinity even more. Sometimes I go for that but other times I would rather use gunpowder infusion because it is super tasty as well. The helmet or accessory I guess you'd call it here is the Hayabusa feather. This is a powerful piece that grants 15 points to expert and seeing as it is so powerful the game has made it quite the trial to get it. Basically you'll need to clear all the non-prowler and non-advanced village quests, have 1500 Yukimo points and have done the first 5 requests from the Yukimo chief. When these conditions are met you should then be given the 6th request from her which tasks you to take on the Devil Joe, Tigrex and Nagakuga in the arena and that is a decent test of your medal especially when you have to deal with the Tigrex and Nagakuga simultaneously. The rest of the set is comprised of the Chaos Arch Brigad Brigandine, the Rathalos R guards, remembering that R series armors are unlocked after defeating the Triple Hyper Tetsukabra hub quest. The next piece is the Nagakuga S coat, followed by the Jaggy Boots S. The Talisman is a pellet up 5 triple slot. You'll have noticed that I have a spare slot in the weapon for my particular set, so obviously you could also use a pellet up 4 triple slot in this set if you wanted. The decorations that I've used here include... Here we go. The triple slot pellet up, which gives us 4 points to that. This is a single slot vault for 2 points. 3 more of those in the waist. 1 more in the legs and a single slot pellet up there. And finally we've got a triple slot attack decoration giving us 5 points to attack. Very tidy. Okie dokie. So let's look at the skills now and for this set you'll see that I've got critical I3, attack up small, pellet spread up and airborne. You'll see that we have 21 points to expert, only needing 20 of those to activate into critical I3. Now critical I3 will raise the affinity, i.e. the critical hit chance of your weapon by 30%, which meshes together lovely with the already high amount of affinity on the weapon. Next is attack. In this instance we have 11 points, which will give us attack up small, which increases our attack by 10. Next up we've got 10 points to pellet up, activating into pellet spread up. This is going to increase the damage of pellet shot by 20% and spread arrows by 30%. Finally we've got 10 points to vault, activating into a skill called airborne. Now this skill will increase vaulting attack damage by 10%. On top of that, it also increases mounting threshold point accumulation and knockdown gauge accumulation by 10%. So you'll be 10% more effective in achieving a mount and completing the riding minigame. And that's going to do it for the set. Hopefully you guys enjoy making this one, it certainly is a chore getting those Hayabusa feathers, but um, stick with it. This set is really worth your time and it's a lot of fun to use. Just be mindful of people in the room with you if you're playing multiplayer. Um, but yeah, that's going to do for now. Thank you so much for watching as always, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.